horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. With his faithful Indian companion Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. Hooray! the Wilson brothers had laughed at the law and carried on their march of crime. But finally, they were captured. The small courthouse was packed on the day they faced Judge Holcomb to hear their sentence. You two have been tried and found guilty of armed robbery and attempted murder as charged in the indictment. It is the sentence of this court that you spend the next 20 years at territorial prison at hard labor. 20 years? No jail will hold us that long. That's right. We'll get out of jail, Judge Holcomb. And when we do, we'll get you and every member of the jury. Sheriff, take the prisoners out and see that they go to work on the rock pile in the morning. Next morning at daybreak, Bob and Don were taken to work on a pile of rocks where the Wyoming Trail crossed the tracks of the Union Pacific. They managed to detach themselves from the other prisoners and the guards as they worked. Keep working, Don. We don't want the guards to pay no special attention to us. Keep close to me. Yeah, I am. What's up? I'm working toward that rock that's got the smear white paint. See it? Yeah, I see it. My friend Bart put that smear of paint there. For what? Wait till you see what's under the rock. How much longer do I have to wait? Just a second now. Any guards looking this way? No. Keep watch till I shove the rock aside. I'm watching. Here we are. Go on. Right. Here, grab one. Now we've ammo's. Take it! Come on. Come on, Don. Stay with me. I'm with you. Here. Keep your head low. Make our get away. Bart's got a hideout for us. Several days after the escape of the prisoners, when the old ranger rode through the hills some distance north of town, he headed for a secret hideout where Toto was waiting. Oh, sir, oh, he's just telling me, Philip. When you come, I'll be fast, Kimasabi. What matter? Toto, I went to town to learn about the Wilson trial. I wanted to be sure those crooks were convicted. Them two crooks in jail. They were convicted by the jury, but they remained prisoners for less than 24 hours. You mean them crooks free again? Yes, they've escaped. They must have had guns where they could find them. They killed a guard and they've sworn to kill Judge Holcomb and every member of the jury. Holcomb, good judge. He'll be a dead judge unless we find the Wilson brothers very soon. How are you here of escape? Because I was in town when a posse set out. <laughs> in fact, I rode with the posse until the trail was lost. You ride with posse with mass company? <laughs> no, Tonto. I was disguised as a wrangler. Oh. Sell your horse, Tonto. I'll show you where the lawman lost the trail. We'll try to carry on from there. After hiding in the hills until they were sure they'd thrown off all pursuers, Bob and Don Wilson made their way to an old shack near an abandoned silver mine. Bart Henley was there waiting for them. Oh, come on in, boys. Glad you got here. And we got here thanks to the guns you left for us, Bart. Well, now, if you boys will just pay up what you promised, I'll fix you with grub and horses so you can head north and keep going. Uh, we'll pay all right, but you'll have to wait until we can cash in on our freedom. Yeah? Meaning what? Yeah, we're broke. The lawyer got all our You case. mean to say you can't now, pay now, me? Take it easy, Bart. Don't get sore. We'll pay you. We'll play of plenty. But 
First, we've got to line up a few jobs. Yeah, and before that, we've got to square accounts with Judge Holcomb. He left town right after the trial. Went over to Laramie by train. How do you know? I'll make it my business to know what's going around around these parts. When is Holcomb coming back? Friday. Oh, we can't hang around here till Friday. It's too close to town. In four days, someone's sure to find us. I can hide you so no one can find you. Of course, it'll cost you $50 a day. But your credit is good. It's worth that to get the judge. Fair enough. Uh, how can you hide us, Bud? <laughs> Bob, I fixed this shack up right. When I show you what I got, you can spread the word. Just let the right boys know that I can be of a lot of help in case of trouble. Uh, show us your hideout. <laughs> yeah, come over here. Yeah. You see that bunk? Uh-huh. Looks like it's fastened to the floor, doesn't it? Well, isn't it? <laughs> You know, sometimes looks are deceiving. Hey, you, Don, grab hold of the bunk there at the other end. Like this? Yeah, now, now swing it out. Pull it around towards you. Just like you would a gate. Huh? But it's solid. <laughs> Go on, pull hard. Hey, Bob, look what's under it. A hole. A ladder going down. Yeah, there's a short tunnel down there. I dug it myself. There's bunks down there and a lamp. There's air holes to the outside. Yeah, that place will take care of hiding you. Now then, you uh, said you wanted to fix the judge. That's the only reason we're staying around here. Well, I can fix it so she can take care of the judge and at the same time get the cash to pay me. Oh. Look up there on the shelf. Blasting part. You seem to have a plan worked out, bud. Yeah, look here on this map. Here's the tracks of the railroad. Well, they run between the old abandoned silver mine and the river. Yeah, you see them? Yeah. Well, there's a place right here where those tracks run along a shelf with a cliff on one side and a 300-foot drop into the river on the other. Now, all you have to do is light the fuse to a keg of blasting powder and drop it on the tracks just ahead of the train. The train will be blown off the ledge. Uh-huh. Judge Holcomb will be on that train. And so will a lot of others. Many of them will be carrying considerable cash. They'll all be killed. River Shallow, you'll have plenty of time to make your way down to it and go through the pockets and bags of the people who are on the train. Hey, that's doggone smart. Now, all you boys have to do is stay here in hiding until Friday, when Judge Holcomb's train is due. <laughs> The Wilson brothers had hidden their trail well. The Lone Ranger and Toto had a difficult time and frequently lost the almost imperceptible signs of the fugitives. But they persisted in their manhunt. They came within sight of the miner's shack two days after the arrival of Bob and Don. The masked man signaled a halt at the edge of a clump of trees. Who's who's got a hold? Well, Shall I investigate the cabin? Maybe better me go with you. No, Toto. If the crooks are in that shack, there might be trouble. It'll be better if you're here to cover me. Come on, Silver. The masked man was closely watched as he advanced on the small building. When he came close and reined up, he saw the door swing open, and Bart appeared with a shotgun in his hand. I hold it, mister. Get your hands up. Easy, Silver. Steady. You needn't hold that gun on me. I'm just here for information. I got no information for masked men. Say, aren't you Bart Henry? What if I am? What are you doing in this neighborhood? What's it to you? And how do you know about me anyhow? Who are you? The last time I saw you, you were some distance north of here. You were just two jumps ahead of the law. If I'm in the clear, see? The law's got nothing on me. The men I'm looking for are not in the clear. Maybe you saw them. How would I know? I don't know who you're looking for. The Wilson brothers. Never heard of them. They escaped from jail. Hey, are you a lawman? If so, why the mask? I'm on the side of the law. Well, I'm living here alone. And I don't like company. Alone? That's what I said. Did a couple of men come this way? I didn't see anyone. And you needn't try looking over my shoulder to see the inside of the house. Because there's nobody in there. Oh. Just one room, huh? Mind if I step inside? If it'll get rid of you any quicker, you're welcome to. Thanks. Have you done some mining in the hills? That's what blasting powder's for, ain't it? You, uh, said you were living alone. 
Well, the dirty dish is there. Quite a few for just one man. It looks to me as if you might have cooked for a couple of friends. I don't care how it looks to you, mister. As for the dishes, what's it to you if I let them pile up two or three days for I wash them? It's nothing to me, Bart. I'll uh, go on about my business. Uh... Oh, and by the way, the Wilsons are now wanted for murder. Yeah? Yeah. They killed a guard. When they're captured, they'll hang. As for you, if you've been hiding them, you'll hang with them. Accessory after the fact, you know. <laughs> As if I didn't know who he is. All right. Come out of hiding, boys. He's gone. Come on out and let me tell you how I outsmarted the Lone Ranger. Now to continue. After riding away from the shack near the abandoned silver mine in the Wyoming hills, the Lone Ranger and Toto made camp on a ledge overlooking the tracks of the Union Pacific Railroad. Meanwhile, the Wilson brothers had come out of the hiding place beneath the bunk. <laughs> we could hear every word you said, Bart. You sure handled that, Lone Ranger. Yeah, there's just one thing that bothers me, boys. Yeah, what's that? You recognize me. If it's ever learned that I hit you two, I'll, I'll hang for it. You can't prove you hit us. I've got a plan, boys. You can get the Lone Ranger and Tonto when you get the judge. How? Oh. When he left here, he headed straight for the woods a couple of hundred feet to the south. From there, I think I can follow his tracks. All I've got to do is locate him and tell him a few things. <laughs> and I guess you boys know I have a mighty convincing way of talking. Bart started out early the following morning. He had little difficulty in finding the tracks of Silver and Scout and following them to the masked man's camp. His approach was noticed by the Lone Ranger. Tonto, look who's coming. It's Bart Henley. Ah. Why him come here? We'll probably find out in a few minutes. Hello there. Hello to yourself. I want to talk to you. Glad to be accommodating. Oh, 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 oh. I'll not welcome you at the point of a gun. Well, I'm sorry about that, mister. But how was I to know who you were? All I could see was a masked man on a white horse. I didn't realize until after you rode away that you're the man I've heard about. Then I knew we were on the same side of the fence. What does that mean? Look here, you've been around a lot. You've seen all kinds of men. You've seen good and bad. You've seen good men go bad and bad men... Well, you must have run into cases where men who had made some mistakes turned over a new leaf. Meaning yourself? Yes. If you're on the level, I'll help you in any way I can. Gosh, I hoped you'd say that. You followed our tracks. Yeah, yeah, I had to talk to you. I... Well, that is, I didn't tell you the whole truth yesterday when you were at my place. Oh? No. You spoke of a couple of killers. The Wilson brothers? Yeah, they passed my place. In fact, they stopped there and wanted me to hide them. When? A couple of days ago. You didn't hide them? No, I didn't even let them in the house. But they told me their plans. They're out to kill Judge Holcomb. They aim to head west as far as the junction. They'll disguise themselves there and get aboard the eastbound train on Friday. Somewheres between the junction and the town, they're going to get the judge. I see. Now, look, if you're on that train between the junction and town, you'll find them, sure enough. Thanks. Well, I better get back to my place. Adios. Adios. Get him. What do you think, Kimasabe? I don't know what to think, Toto. There's something wrong somewhere. We'll head for the junction and board the eastbound train. Maybe better you not wear a mask. Maybe better you wear disguise. Time enough for that when we get to the junction. Steady, boy. Easy. It's time to move. Ah. You got plenty on mind, King? Yes, Sabi? I have, Tonto. I've had something on my mind ever since I left that shack where Bart is living. I don't know what it is. Oh, what you mean? It's hard to explain. I saw something in that shack. Oh, you see blast and powder? That's easily accounted for if Bart is doing some mining. You see plenty dirty dish? Bart accounted for those, too. Oh, there's something else. 
It was sunset, and there was a halt for the evening meal. You still try to remember what you see? Yes. That old Bart lied to me, I'm sure of it. I saw something that contradicts the story he told. I have a feeling it was in his house that I saw it. Wish I could put my finger on it. The temporary camp was broken and the two continued toward the junction. Darkness overtook them on the trail. The Lone Ranger still pondered. Junction, just ahead. We have plenty of time, Toto. We'll stop here long enough to fix the disguise. Most of it. Well, what's going on, eh? Uh, what time train do? It'll be along in a little while if it's on time. Supposed to reach town tomorrow morning. Oh. I think... Toto, I have it. What you mean? Bart did lie. I'm sure of it. I must go back. Go back? Where? Back to Bart's house. You go on to the junction. Board the train. Look for Bob and Don. If you see them, keep watch. Don't let them make trouble. Huh? It was morning when he drew rain in front of Bart's shack. Oh, so easy. Set it up. He hit the ground fast, hurried across the porch, and opened the door. Hey, what the hell? I want to talk to you. Now, wait, listen. Start talking and tell the truth. Where are those two killers? Now, look, look, mister. I told you. You told me you met them at the door. That you didn't let them into this place. It's true. It's a lie. Those dirty dishes prove it. I explained that. You said you didn't bother to wash dishes for several days. But look at those coffee cups. Three of them. Sure, the one I used this morning, one from yesterday, and the one... One from the day before. Yeah. You mean to say that dregs have been in that cup since Wednesday without drying up? But I... And these plates. The remains of food on them. Eggs still moist. These plates were used this morning. No, no, you're mistaken. I'm not mistaken. Where are Bob and Don Wilson? And what's become of the keg of blasting powder I saw the last time I was here? Well, I... I... Talk! Talk, I said we talk! Don't hit me! Don't hit me again! I'll talk! Meanwhile, Bob and Don were on the top of the cliff over the ledge that supported the railroad tracks. Bob watched for the train, while Don, a few yards back, held the keg of blasting powder ready. Here comes the train, Don. Just around the bend. I'll watch and tell you when it comes into sight. That's when you light the fuse, then pass the keg of powder to me and I'll drop it on the track. Yeah, I sure hope the timing is right. And it should be. We burned enough fuse checking on it. There's the train. I'm lighting the fuse. Oh, hey, it's lighted. Who's that? Huh? Hey, look. The masked man. Bob. Bob, here, take the keg. The fuse is burning. I'll get that masked man. With a cry of pain, Don dropped the keg of powder. The Lone Ranger and Bob Wilson had fired together. Wilson's shot went wild, but the silver bullet from the masked man's gun struck Don in the arm. Bob missed the mark a second time. Then the Lone Ranger fired again. No! Bob took the bullet in the shoulder. He spun and fell from the impact. Meanwhile, the fuse burned closer to the blasting powder. Hold it, hold it, hold it. No more gunplay. That, uh, that powder, get me away from him, my arm. Bust it, get me out of here. That powder will explode in a couple of seconds. I'll pull out the fuse. Hurry, will you? Hurry. Watching the outlaws get carefully, the Lone Ranger grabbed the short get stub of fuse. fuse it you? burned his fingers. He ignored the pain and pulled the fuse out of the keg. There. Now you crooks needn't worry about being blown to bits. You'll live to face the hangman. No, 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 wait, wait, mister. Let me talk, let me explain. Your pal Bart did the explaining. He's tied in his cabin, waiting for us to join him. All right, I'll dress your wounds. Then we'll pick up Bart and go to town. The judge and the sheriff will be glad to see you. When the Wilson brothers went to trial for the murder of the guard, Bart Hanley went with them as an accessory after the fact. The trial was short, and the verdict was guilty. Judge Holcomb pronounced the sentence. That they shall be hanged from the neck until death. And now, before adjournment, the court wishes to extend the thanks and gratitude of this community, as well as my personal thanks and gratitude... To the man who delivered us from these assassins, the Lone Ranger. copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy.